What's up guys? Today we'll be looking at the nature of the functions and I'll be sharing my opinion on a different way to look at the, the fundamentals, a different approach here. Um, and we can start off with the 16 main personality types, which I'm sure most of you are familiar with by now. Those can be divided into eight cognitive functions, which are, you know, just a simple variation of um, the types, the functions in a different order. And then you can break that down into the combination of the four main temperaments that were um, written about by Kiersey based on Plato. And then those uh, main temperaments can be broken down into the four Jungian functions, <clears throat> intuition, feeling, thinking, sensation. And most people would stop there. I'd argue you can keep going, break it down even further into the two main hemispheres of the brain, the left and the right. And this is a concept that's pretty much accepted by most people and goes way, way back in history, even before Jung. And the left is generally looked at as the logical, analytical side of the brain, whereas the right is the more creative, intuitive side. And in a perfect world where everyone would be 50-50, um, you know, people would argue much less and be more understanding in my opinion, but the fact is that some people are more left brain uh, dominant, some people are more right brain dominant. I prefer the term imbalanced in this case, and I'm not talking like 55, 45, it's more like 65, 35, or even more extreme than that. Um, a good example of a left brain imbalanced person, you know, if you try and tell them about the MBTI or psychology, they might just label it as pseudoscience. They'll question the sources. They'll take the test, get a result, read the description, say it's the Barnum four effect. They'll take it another time, get a different result. They'll say it's faulty. And uh, with this left brain imbalance, basically they're not utilizing the right brain enough. You know, they're lacking that emotional intelligence, not being able to see the pattern, you know, the pattern recognition, the bigger picture, how it relates to other things as a whole. And it's the same thing with the right brain imbalanced people. They'll argue that the MBTI, that it's putting people into boxes, that it's labeling people. They'll say you're not understanding that everyone is different. And, you know, they'll, they'll just dismiss it. And those people aren't utilizing the left hemisphere of the brain where it's they're kind of lacking the structure, the order, attention to detail, ability to logically process and categorize information. And you'd think that the thinkers are more left uh, imbalanced and the, F, uh, the feelers are more uh, right brain imbalanced, which can sometimes be true. But it, the opposite um, viewpoint works as well. Um, you know, some people just have massive egos and they kind of project their insecurities with what they're less comfortable or developed with and it's usually pretty much just a waste of time to convince them otherwise because whatever you say it'll go in one ear and out the other but anyways uh going back to the functions if you look at the keywords in this picture here um you know for the left hemisphere and the right hemisphere I see these keywords as correlating to the four main Jungian functions. It's almost a perfect fit. And of course, this is just conceptual. Um, you know, I, I wouldn't recommend, you know, trying to measure neuroplasticity or brain activity or, or trying to like, you know, correlate a certain function with a part of the brain, like intuition with the frontal lobe sensation with the R complex, even more specific, like SI with the hippocampus, it, it just doesn't work that way. Of course, you can do scans and all that. But I, it's it's really interesting. Um, but I think that, you know, by doing that, you're, you're losing focus of the bigger picture here. And, you know, I'd recommend just trying to keep it simple. And seeing that, you know, for example, the the left you see analytical logical details literal 
I see this as very uh, thinking and sensation, you know, the very realistic side of the brain, whereas the right is creative, imaginative, more, you know, emotional intelligence, intuitive, conceptual. You get the idea, you know, this is the, the N and the F side of the brain, whereas the left is the more um, T and S. And of course, they operate on, a, on an axis. So, you know, once you get a good understanding of uh, the left and the right and how they relate to the four main functions, then you can work your way upwards, you know, take it up a notch, see how the four temperaments play out, you know, get a good understanding of the four main temperaments, then move on to the eight cognitive functions, get a good understanding of those. And then finally go to the 16 types. And once you've done that, you can deviate all you want. You know, there's plenty of other different systems out there. Um, uh, and I, I like this the most. It's the most simple. It's the most, you know, well-grounded, in my opinion. I've deviated myself into a bunch of different other systems. I always go back to this. Um, and yeah, th this is just, you know, what I mainly wanted to say in this video regarding the, the functions and like how I view them. Um, and as far as the videos that I have planned in the future, I'm going to be working on uh, the eight cognitive functions next, one video each. It'll probably take me around two to three weeks to gather, uh, you know, material and and my own thoughts for for each and every function but uh, that's what I have planned right now and I'd also like to open the floor to anyone who would like uh, another example since I've, I've done the 16 types so if you'd like uh, another example just put in the four letters of the type that you'd like to see or if someone's already done that just uh, like their comment if you'd like to see a, a famous person specifically, you can type in their name as well. Just make sure that they're, they have footage on the public domain that I can use for an analysis. That's fine as well. And um, one thing, I'm also gonna be doing an INFP video by default because I didn't really have uh, you know, a, a visual um, aid for my INFP video. So I'm gonna do that, of course. And, um, yeah, so hope you guys, uh, have fun with that. And, you know, I'm curious to hear what, what types you'd like to see or what people you'd like to see. And I'll try my best to take care of that. So I'll see you in my next video. I'll be going into the eight functions and take care for now.